My case is pending in front of the Board of Immigration Appeals. What papers do I need to send to let the BIA know that I have more time to file my asylum application under the Mendez Rojas case? This video is part of a video series to help asylum seekers in North and South Carolina exercise their right to apply for asylum under the Mendez Rojas case. This video is produced by the Duke Law Immigrant Rights Clinic. If you did not find this video by filling out the questions on the Google form about your case status, the information here may not apply to you. Please visit this link and answer the anonymous questions there to ensure that you are receiving up-to-date information that is specific to your situation. These videos are not intended to be legal advice. We recommend that you contact an immigration attorney to get legal advice in your specific case. If your case is pending in front of the Board of Immigration Appeals, or BIA, meaning that you got a decision from an immigration judge and the BIA is reviewing that decision, then you will need to send papers to the BIA to let them know that you are eligible for a later asylum filing deadline. The deadline for the Board of Immigration Appeals to receive your papers is April 22, 2022. If you're not sure what the status of your case is, you can watch the video below titled How to Find the Status of My Case, which will walk you through how to call the EOIR automated hotline to get information about your case. Press 4 when you call the hotline to confirm your case is still on appeal at the BIA. We want to emphasize that it is in your best interest to speak with an attorney about your BIA appeal. Immigration appeals are complicated and can involve a lot of legal issues, including changes in law since you last went to immigration court that may affect your case. If you can, you should speak to an immigration attorney rather than contacting the BIA yourself. Another scenario where you may want to call an immigration attorney is if your notice to appear, or NTA, in immigration court was filed after January 26, 2021, which is the date that the government began properly notifying people about the one-year asylum filing deadline. Similarly, you must have received an NTA or been in removal proceedings on or after June 30, 2016. If you received your NTA or finished your removal proceedings before June 30, 2016, you may want to check with an attorney about your Mendes Rojas eligibility. In order to exercise your right to apply for asylum more than one year after entering the United States, you will need to send specific papers to the Board of Immigration Appeals by April 22, 2022. We have included links below this video where you can download these forms. There will be both instruction pages with information and the forms themselves that you can fill out with the required information, such as your name and address. You can place the instruction pages next to the forms themselves so you can look at the instructions while filling out the forms. First, you will want to fill out a Notice of Class Membership. A Notice of Class Membership is a form where you tell the government that you believe you are a member of the Mendes Rojas class. You may have received a notice from the Asylum Office about your eligibility for Mendes Rojas, but the form you must send is different than that form you may have received. If you did not receive a form from the government, do not worry, you can still send in the Notice of Class Membership. The Notice of Class Membership tells the government that you can file your asylum application more than a year after you entered the United States because of Mendes Rojas. The Notice of Class Membership looks like this, and you will fill it in in the places that are yellow with the information that applies to you. Second is a short declaration. The short declaration is a written statement that explains that you encountered, were detained by, or taken into custody by U.S. immigration officials upon entering the United States, or within 14 days of entry into the United States, and that no one from the United States government told you about the one-year asylum deadline. The short declaration looks like this. 
and you will insert your name, choose the time that you talk to immigration officials, add the city and state where you signed your declaration, and then sign the declaration. You may also need to send an asylum application. You only need to send an asylum application if you have not already filed your asylum application. The asylum application looks like this. If you have already filed an asylum application, then you do not need to send another. This form is a little more complicated and may require help from an attorney. There is also guides on how to fill it out yourself, and we have linked a video to help you fill out the asylum application without an attorney below. We have also included a link that might help you find an immigration attorney. The fourth thing you need to send is proof of service. Proof of service is a paper that says that you sent a copy of all of the documents that we just mentioned to the lawyers that represent the government in your case. These lawyers work in the Office of the Principal Legal Advisor for DHS, also known as the Office of Chief Counsel. We will discuss proof of service later in the video, but for now you should know that the date that you write on this form should be the date that you will send out the form. This is because you will need to certify that you are sending the copies to the Office of the Principal Legal Advisor. To summarize, you will need to send a notice of class membership, a short declaration, an asylum application if you have not yet filed one, and proof of service. Where do I need to send these papers? Once you have prepared the documents we just described, you will need to send them at the BIA at Board of Immigration Appeals, 5107 Leesburg Pike, Suite 2000, in Falls Church, Virginia, 22041. You will also need to send a copy of all of those documents to the Office of the Principal Legal Advisor for DHS. The address for this office will change depending on what immigration court heard your case. If your case was last heard in the Charlotte Immigration Court, you will need to send the copy of your papers to this address, Office of the Principal Legal Advisor, comma, Atlanta, in parentheses, Charlotte, 5701 Executive Center Drive, Suite 300, in Charlotte, North Carolina, 28212. If your immigration court case was not last heard in Charlotte Immigration Court, you will need to go online to find the right place to send the copy of your papers. First, you will need to follow the link below. Then, you will filter by state. If, for example, you last lived in Tennessee, and your case was heard in immigration court there, you would select Tennessee and then press apply. The address for the principal legal advisor for the Memphis Immigration Court is listed there. You would write down the address on a piece of paper or on an envelope. Once you have finished filling out your documents, put one set of papers in the envelope to the Board of Immigration Appeals and put one copy in the other envelope that is going to the Office of the Principal Legal Advisor for DHS. You will also want to have a copy for yourself. Write the Board of Immigration Appeals address on one envelope and the Office of the Principal Legal Advisor address on the other. Don't forget that if your case was not heard in Charlotte, you may need to send your papers to a different address. Sign and date the proof of service form and send that form both to the Board of Immigration Appeals and to the Office of the Principal Legal Advisor. When you are ready to send your envelopes, you may want to bring your envelopes to a store like UPS, FedEx, or USPS to make sure that you can get a shipping label with the tracking number that will tell you if the BIA received your papers or not. Keep a copy of all of the documents as well as the tracking numbers for your records. 
Don't forget that the BIA needs to have your papers by April 22, 2022. If you believe you are a member of Mendes Rojas Group A or Group B, but you were told you are not a class member, contact the class council at Mendes Rojas at nwirp.org.